Welcome to the Amerodroid Minilab slash Electrical Closet. Today we'll be talking about the Odroid View 7 tablet screen, and we're going to be pairing that with the Odroid C1 Plus. The first step is that we need to modify the display resolution settings on your eMMC or micro SD. This particular board we're running an eMMC, the 8 gigabyte pink dot. And uh, and here we've got a HDMI to VGA adapter, so that we can have a nice uh, big screen, high depth display. Okay. So the first step is to open a terminal. Of course, you can do this through the graphic display as well. Now when you type uh, df-h at the command prompt, it will show you the mounted volumes. And if you see at the bottom there it says media slash media slash boot, that is the boot partition on Odroid cards. So if you see there, boot.ini, that's what we want to edit. And you'll have to be sudo to do this. Okay. Now in this file we want to find the 800 by 480 and uncommented. And then we're going to look for any other lines that are uncommented like the 1080p and we're going to comment those out. The other thing that you'll want to do is comment out the HDMI line and uncomment the DVI line. And when you're done with that, save it. And we are ready to reboot, but before you do, make sure that your distribution is up to date by running apt-get update, apt-get dist upgrade, and apt-get upgrade. That will make sure that your system is fully up to par so that it will boot on, so it will have the drivers to boot the touchscreen. Once you reboot, if your monitor can handle the 800 by 480 resolution it will look like this. Uh, everything is rather large and that's a good thing because the tablet is um, on the smaller side so it's nice to have your icons large. And now we'll get to installing the touchscreen. First I'm going to uh, shut down shut down the uh, Odroid here. While it's doing that, we'll open up the box and see what's inside. Okay, we have a micro USB to micro USB cable. Here are some custom boards that connect the HDMI on the screen to the HDMI on the, on the C1 Plus and the micro USB to the micro USB from between the screen and the C1 Plus as well. That's what's going to provide power and uh, the touchscreen locations. So if you don't have that connected you won't get a screen turned on and you won't be able to use the touchscreen. And then we have a, a selection of screws and spacers that we'll be using later on. Here we have some cables, an HDMI to HDMI and a full-size USB to a micro USB cable. And that's if you're going to use an XU4 or if you don't attach uh, you don't plan on attaching the C1 Plus to the view touchscreen. Alright, so those are out of the way. And then in here we have the touchscreen itself. 
It's a glossy finish. It has mounting holes to mount a frame. An on-off switch for the screen. HDMI port, micro USB port. All right, so while we're doing this, we will unplug Now, in order to mount this, we have to make sure that the HDMI ports line up and the micro USB ports line up. So that would be the proper orientation. Uh, I suppose you could go about this two different ways. You could attach the ports first and then the mounting screws. Or you could attach the mounting screws first and then the ports. And I think attaching the mounting screws may be the wiser choice. So that's the way the board is going to go. And as you can see, we have these two holes lining up, these two holes lining up, and uh, these two holes lining up. So you should be able to mount three different things. Okay, so we will remove that temporarily while we mount Now as you can see we have the three spacers mounted on the View 7. And with those in place, C1 should be able to mount right on top. As you can see, we now have the C1 Plus mounted on the View 7. So the next step is to connect the HDMI and the micro USB. All right, now that you have them both connected, just apply power to the Odroid C1 Plus. A slight bit of corruption there at the beginning is normal. And as you can see, Touch screen now works. All right, well, that's it. The Odroid View 7. You can also turn off the screen, but you'll notice that the C1 is still operating. And then we can turn the screen back on, and we're back where we were. Alright, that's it for today.